first muscle we're going to palpate this morning is brachioradialis. Remember that anytime you see a prefix or a suffix that says brachio or brachialis or brachii, you're talking about an attachment somewhere on the upper arm, on the humerus. So brachioradialis, again, is going to start on this lateral supracondylar ridge and run down the radius to the styloid process of the radius. It does not cross the wrist, so it won't have any action on the wrist, just action at the elbow. So if I take the skeleton away, brachioradialis starts lateral supracondylar ridge to the styloid process. The fibers will run down the radius like this. Brachioradialis is also important to remember that it divides the extensors on the posterior forearm from the flexors on the anterior forearm. So after I've pointed out my origin and my insertion, what I will do is hold my client's forearm down, not the wrist, but the forearm, have the client flex at their elbow and you'll notice that the muscle will pop up right here and you will use a pincer grasp, come around each side of the muscle, have the client relax, and then just lift the muscle up towards the ceiling. And I'll just kind of make my way down. You can probably palpate it about halfway, but just use a pincer grasp and lift the muscle up as you move your way down. Second muscle that we're gonna focus on that moves the elbow is pronator teres. Pronator teres starts at the medial epicondyle of the humerus and the coronoid process of the ulna. And then it attaches about midway down the shaft of the radius. The fibers run kind of at an oblique angle like this. So if we took the skeleton away, when I show this on my client, I'm going to, of course, point to the medial epicondyle, that round prominence on the medial side of the arm, and then also the coronoid process of that ulna. You can simply trace with two fingers at an oblique angle till you get to the shaft of the radius. It dips under brachioradialis. The fibers will run in an oblique fashion like this, and if insertion and origin get closer together, my client will be pronating their forearm. So once you've shown the fibers run in this direction, good idea is to find the biceps tendon so that you don't mistakenly palpate the biceps tendon. Come distally, kind of place your fingers under the forearm, and have your client pronate their forearm against your resistance and you can see how I flip across the muscle but it's a good idea to have the client relax before you palpate and then using my thumb I'm going to palpate and flip across the muscle You'll notice I come in an oblique angle towards brachioradialis and the radius Next muscle we're going to focus on, which moves the elbow, is biceps brachii. Biceps means two, so there's going to be two origins to this muscle. First, there's a long head and a short head for biceps brachii. So the short head is going to start at the coracoid process, which is on the anterior side of the scapula. That's the short head. The long head is going to start inside the glint by the glenoid fossa and run through the groove, the intertubercular groove. So this is the long head, this is the short head. The fibers run down the front of the arm and attach to the radial tuberosity and the biceps aponeurosis, which is right here. So two heads. Fibers run down the arm to the radial tuberosity and the aponeurosis, which is here. So if we took the skeleton away, for you to show this, 
you're going to point to the coracoid process. Remember it's about right here at the axilla at the armpit but below the clavicle. So you can come in and show the coracoid process about there. And then for the long head, you're going to want to find the acromion process, which is the tip of the shoulder. Slide down and find that flip, which is the long head. So that's the groove right there. So you can basically show the two origins, and then with your second hand, come down to the radial tuberosity here. Show that the fibers run this way and again you'll want to keep your hands and fingers kind of close together don't open it like this because you'll be getting other muscles except biceps so keep your hand fingers close together run down the arm remember to cross the elbow to the radial tuberosity so to make the muscle contract my clients arm is open with the palm towards the ceiling this is uh, the arm is also, or the forearm is also in supination because biceps is a strong supinator of the forearm. So I will hold the client's forearm down and ask them to flex at the elbow. And you'll notice you can even see the outline of it here. So you can grab onto the muscle. Again, not a wide grip, but a kind of a narrow grip. Have the client relax and then just pincer grasp and pull the muscle up towards you. Work your way down and it would be good for you to show the biceps tendon at the end of the muscle. Alright, the last muscle for today that moves the elbow is triceps brachii. Tri means three, so there's going to be three origins of this muscle. Uh, triceps is the only muscle located on the posterior arm. So for the three origins, the long head of triceps will start at the infraglenoid tubercle. The lateral head will start on the posterior side of the humerus, proximally. And the medial head will start on the posterior side of the humerus, uh, more distally. So the fibers basically kind of start in three places and then end at the olecranon process or the elbow. So I'll take the skeleton away and for purposes I've just brought the arm off the side of the table. One of the main actions of triceps is extension of the elbow. So with the elbow in this position and moving out that's going to be elbow extension. So that's what I'll have my client do when I'm ready for the muscle to contract. So basically I'm going to start kind of the muscle in three spots to, sh to show kind of the three heads. And then it inserts down here on the olecranon process. The fibers, again, only muscle located on the posterior side of the arm and they run down in this direction. So I'm going to first of all outline the muscle and grab the entire thing. So I'm going to place my hands on the posterior arm and have my client push into my leg. I put my leg here to kind of create some resistance. And you can really outline the muscle to begin with. So I've put my hands around the entire muscle. I'll have the client relax. And first of all, I can, I can kind of pincer grasp the entire thing. But I want to show the three different uh, fibers. So to catch the medial fibers, I could use my thumbs closest to me and palpate across the belly and get my flip right there. I'll come a little bit more to the center to get the long head fibers. And then to get the lateral fibers, you can just use your finger pads and sink in and catch the muscle right there. So again, you'll want to show three different palpations, medial, middle, lateral.